just all the bits that go in behind it, yeah. which people don't actually they take for granted because a lot of people just see the, the goal, you know, or the end the end product is yeah, like yeah. a wave. It's packaged up as a sort and of it, yeah. fifteen second internet <laughs> yeah. clip or an yeah. Instagram clip. <laughs> What does that mean on the map? Look at this thing here. Um, so that says area to be avoided. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's where we're going, eh? Boat's soaking, we're all tired. It's hard to do the trip, it's hard to stay waiting for the waves. You got to have like people that know that what they are committed, doing, yeah. yes. committed and to risk a little bit also. During that Hercules swell they could see that capping out there from back here on the mainland. So that's 15 yeah, kilometers, yeah, they're yeah. seeing a wave breaking, that's, that, that's huge. Once we get close, this has to be eyeball because the charts were based on 19th century surveys and you have to correct them. I've been lucky enough to surf some of the biggest waves in the Atlantic, if not the world. I truly love big wave surfing and the adventure. It's not just a weekend thing, you know, it's all or nothing. This is about looking around the corner. Please. It's going to be busy. People just going. We could jump off for a couple of waves Turn. and head straight to. Let's go, mate. Fifty feet deep, right by the rocks there, and you come over that ledge, and all of a sudden it's you know we're sitting in 29, 30 feet here, and you know the boys are surfing on the inside today, but you can hardly imagine that it's natural. Deep, deep water energy under there. When you see a wave, that's like the tip of the iceberg, really. You know, beneath that wave there is a column of water that contains energy, and the energy is being transmitted through that you know that wave pattern. Yeah, it's. It's busy, but, but that's what's motivating you to go and look around the corner, isn't it? It's the same thing that progressed me from not wanting to surf at my local beach for the rest of my life. Over the last few years, like, this boat has been a good vessel to explore. I mean, you look at the map and you look at all the little islands and you, you got to have, like, a wonder, you know, like... What else do you need? Tomatoes. And yeah, we need some energy. I got some chocolate. Who served that there? No, not, no, I don't know anyone, and I never heard that anyone has served like, there, ever. Right, everyone's here watching the contest, frothing. And we're, and we're we're heading exactly the other way. Turn the back to the contest and face the adventure, man, and exploring something new. Yeah, morning. How's it going? It's a bit too much swelling there, to... Well, that's bit. today as well. Yeah. Well, look, look at that in the, in the distance. You can actually see it. No, yeah, not, yeah, not this the closer one, the furthest. Yeah, it's right out there. That's this. So we're going to go around through Between there. Between the meadows, uh, around yeah, on the, the left, left, through here, and then out there. But on this side, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This it's like such a small island that the swell easily goes Going around. around. Yeah, yeah. And you got swell from everywhere. It must be stiff, eh? 
Let's get up there. Yeah. So when I was up here... You're right on the edge of the continental shelf yeah. almost. It's kind of like, wow, the canyon comes all the way into here. Yeah. That's, that's the edge of Europe. So that looked like the most interesting bit. Yeah. It's difficult to call without, you know, diving it. At any surf spot you ever surfed, it always takes time to build that profile of it. This was never going to be simple, you know. This morning we left Peniche, the contest, all those people on the beach, you know. We actually left some fun waves and you come out here and it'd be easy to turn around and get back. Like, oh, there's nothing here, let's go. Yeah. You know? And then it's that commitment tomorrow, the next day. It's being in the moment, isn't it? You know, like, and you can go through life dreaming or thinking about thousands and one things at the same time, but never really be present. Mm. That slow beauty mm. <laughs> to, like, being in front of that wave, and you've got, like, a 60, 70-foot wave about to break in front of you, you know, and you're watching that really, really slow lip come down, 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 but then that sound as it hits, boom! Everything and then like, oh my god, motion. like we we're about to get absolutely done. You never know how she's gonna touch you. Yeah. Because sometimes you got the huge wave and the wipe out is not so heavy and then sometimes a smaller wave can smash it totally. Yeah. And I mean it's like being inside of the hands of a giant that pressures you, that smashes you, twists you and puts pressure in every little square inch of your body. She's mental, eh? Such a massive boat in this little corner, you know, like, no way. That one here on the back, maybe a little bit too much picky. Yeah. But hopefully. The other one on the board. The other one. That one seems like a more like a flat platform that we're looking for. So it's coming straight from there. Yeah. But it looks like it's already coming from, a, bit from north, a little bit of north already. So I'd say it's like west, northwest. So that wraparound that's coming kind of like, you just see the lamps coming across there. Yeah. There. It's definitely showing, but it just needs to be bigger. You get right up to that. It's 200 foot deep right next to it, so you can definitely get there. 32, 33, 29. Yeah, that's it, that's here. Oh man, I'm so glad I'm not going in there. <laughs> Things that you make me do, let's go dive here. <laughs> right now, man. Yeah, you can go now. The boy's right here. <laughs> Just tons of water moving around. That's worth knowing. I think around and you see like the deep blues, it seems like the tracks tracks you, you know, like it's this just strange feeling that you wanna go deeper and deeper and deeper. You know, and it's like you are in the middle of the infinite. We come out here just to have a look at this shallow spot. It's marked on the Portuguese chart, but not on the English chart. It's shallow enough to make a wave trip up. Wave trips up, then it breaks and becomes potentially surfable. Can you see the bottom? Paddling for a little bit and always flat, flat, flat. It's not just about the depth, it's also about the shape of that underwater ledge, whether or not it's going to be the kind of shape which maybe will generate a surfable wave. There's some more variables to come yet before we can really be sure about its, its true potential. A really good chance of having like a massive picky wave. It's a big square, you know, like four big boulders, like a huge, massive, like cracked in the middle. It's potential, this place, for sure. So we can actually put a, a GPS waypoint right on the top of that. So we know we can be here, we know that the wave's breaking there, and really it would just now be a question of coming back on the right day. The scariest moments that I got in my life, the ones that I feel more pressure on me and that you know that you can fail is on the rescues. And you know that if you miss, you're gonna have a second chance. It's your best friends that are there and your focus is just like, go there. 
you, you, you change the fear in focus and in, in tranquility and calmness because it's the only solution. Disappearing, coming back. Disappearing, coming back. I think um, it's the human condition to always think there's something better. There might be a better option, but whether there actually is or not, it's another question. Let's try that. The, the picture that I show you is exactly in this place. And the boat that's in the picture is that one. That was the boat that was there. The problem is not to be here, it's to get here, as one says. Thank you, companheiro. Good day. Salud. What did he say? He's saying that he saw a wave and he says that it was with 20, 25 meters. What, here? O outside of... Uh, the outside one? It's makeable, but you're going to have to dedicate some time. Yeah, of course, yeah. And energy and, and love to this place, you know. It's a complex area. There's a lot going on. That lump you were diving on yesterday, I mean, well, for sure. that's the one that, break. when it's really huge, that's going to be the one, I think. Working stuff like this out can take ages, years. It's not like rocking up to your local beach. It's been the experience, you know, like, the paddling through the cave, that mountain and that the island, you know, like... Exploring and finding new places and looking to see what's out there on the margins. And that's the journey, isn't it? You set out with a, a goal. Every time you go out, you get maybe a little bit closer to it. You've got to have the, the goal first. Almost like a mission statement, isn't it?